Bonjour, I'm Antoine. Today I'm going to interview the King Bee, a Bronx graffiti artist. Let's go meet him. It's good right. to see you. Likewise, thank likewise. you very much. Hey, that's beautiful what you have here. Yeah, right thank here. you, man. Did it's this great. a while back. Yeah, me and my partner Vays. Uh huh. You know, um, trying to do more. Yes. More is better, you know. Where are you from? Tell us. Um, you know, tell us where you're from. Well, I'm from How the long Bronx. you've been? In the, oh, so you're from the Bronx? Yes. So you, you've been um, here forever. Yeah. Well, I was born in Harlem. Uh huh. You know, and when I was young, you know, me, me and my sister, my father moved to the Bronx. Okay. That's where um, I grew up most of my life, in the Bronx, you know, Burnside Avenue area. Uh -huh. You know, um, I've been there, I've been painting for about, let me see, 35 years now. And, um, 35 years? That's yeah, cool. you know. So, I'm, tell me, uh, what was life like back in the 70s? How was life in the 70s? Well, I, you know? come, I started back in the 80s, late 80s, you know. So the 70s to me, I can't require, you know. I to, you know, my father put me in good school. Uh -huh. I wasn't from the streets, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until high, after high school, that's when I started adventuring in the streets. So. Ah, okay. So why why did you start uh, doing graffitis? Was it because well, of a friend of yours were starting doing like the tag thing? Or no, well, was... I went to JFK High School and I used to see the one train go by. Yes. Some art form, you know. I was always an artist when I was a kid. Yes. So then I wanted to put my hands into that and try it, you know? Yeah. I liked it, the lettering style, the colors, all that, you know? So I wanted to try it. Uh -huh. And I was doing it, you know what I mean? Me and my crew back in the 90s, we were doing it. Uh -huh. Doing underground spots, doing illegal spots. <laughs> until I started doing, you know what I mean, um, commercial spots. Mm -hmm. Little by little, I was getting hired to do bigger spots, you know? But um, it started by little bodega, little I mean, flower shop, little stuff like that. Uh -huh. And people just like the work and it just started getting bigger and bigger. I decided to make a business. <laughs> you <laughs> know, right and, yeah, and legalized it, you know, and exactly. How's the uh, King Bee name born? How the when? King Bee came about? Yeah. Well it started with his king and then I realized there's no such thing as no King B. There's only Queen B. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I'm the only King B. You know? <laughs> that's I, love, you hear that? I, I love that. I love that. Has your style evolved? Oh, definitely. Every day, you know what I mean? Every time you paint, you're getting better and better. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're not, I mean, looking towards something new or fresh enough, then what's the point? You know what I mean? You get yeah, yeah, stale yeah. and you just pop away. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how, how does the painting? Uh, your artistry helped you in your everyday life, you know, with your family, with your children. Oh, uh, well, I don't, that's a good thing. I don't have no kids. Oh, that's you have no kids. Okay, you just that's why, yeah, that's, that, <laughs> that's why I was able to do this, you know what I mean, for a very long time. But, um, hey, my parents, I mean, they don't, they don't pay too much attention to it. They, um, they approve it, you know. Yeah. Why is I making Did they like what you do? Yeah, they like it. Yeah, they, when, she, when my mom comes out of her apartment, you know, she sees it, so. Yeah. It's in her face, you know? Yeah, but she likes it, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. My brothers, they, they support it. You know, so that's good. Yeah. Because I would hate to have, imagine having parents that, oh, forget it. You know, the trial and tribulations with that. <laughs> but they're against it, and you got you to gotta hear that. You know, no good. Yeah, no you good. don't really want to hear those things. No, yeah, that's right. It's negative thoughts, you know what I mean? Yeah. Positive. <laughs> Positive energy, baby. Positive energy. <laughs> Tell me, King, the, how does the street, you know, inspire you? Uh, what does the street has taught you, you know, about, about your work, it's, uh, about your heart? Well, you sometimes, know? The, sometimes the street talks to you, you know, uh -huh. see your environment, and you want to execute something relatively, you know? Uh -huh. So, like, like for instance, this uh, this mural that uh, we're walking by, uh, right. another yeah. one, you know. Right, yeah. it's something like, like something like that. Look at the, look at where we at. Look at all these buildings. Yeah, not too much nature, not too park, no greenery. Yeah. So something like this is a condition for the atmosphere here, you know. Yeah. It gives it a sense of liberty. So people love it, you know. Uh huh. Instead of drawing buildings or cities, come on, more buildings. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> and we cluster. Hey, remember, remember I'm building. in real estate. <laughs> yeah, you know? So this is a good the feeling, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. So the, now, you know, what's, what's your relationship with, uh, with, with landlords, you know? Because, you know, back in the day, you know, you were painting and right, you know, people property. were chasing you. Right, right, uh, right. But now, they are the ones chasing you they're to chasing do their work. Well, yeah. Well, you know? that, How does that feel? It's a good feeling, you know? You, you feel appreciated. Yeah. And it's only, and it's only good because um, you help out the environment too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you help certain conditions because you, you don't want to see the face wall or yeah. the ugly wall, you know what I mean? You better have some art on it, some color, some inspiration, yeah, yeah, something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Something fresh about it. You know, and nothing, nothing lasts forever. So whatever you got now to paint on, you have to use it wisely, you know what I mean? Dedicated correctly, you know what I mean? Was, yes, you know, exactly. Appropriately, you know what I mean? Because you can just do something and nobody likes it, or it's, you know what I mean? It has to feel for everyone. That's the way I feel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All I have to be you know, so selfish, it's all about you. You spread it open. Yeah. Bzzz, look at the beat right there. Yeah. Buzzing at you. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Question, you know, from uh, from a, an artist perspective, right? Uh, do you consider Bensky as a graffiti artist or more like a multimedia type of artist? Um, it, uh, these people with these titles serves no definition to its obscurity to me. So, yes, he is an artist. You know what I mean? Yes. There's a, a lot of type of artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's, there's art in every type of media that you do. You know what I mean? It's just how you see it. It's an uh -huh. expression. Yeah. You know, so yes, he's in the game. Yes, he's in the game. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, in regards to, uh, I know that, you know, I read some articles about you, you know, thinking about uh, putting together uh, a school, you know, for oh, yeah, kids. Yeah, teaching uh, kids, yes. Yeah. So yeah, tell well, us me, a little bit about yeah, it. Uh, you know, what, me, what's your thought on it? Uh, well, me and my manager were talking about it, you know, like, because um, I get a lot of parents wanting me to teach their kids uh -huh. some art, you know what I mean? Some sort yes. of art skills. So. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still an open discussion about it, you know? Uh -huh. But to teach kids all in, maybe all in one format, you know, like a classroom or something like that. Uh -huh. Hey, it can happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, it, the thing is about timing, you know what I mean? Do I have the time for it now? Do I have to make time for it? If I really want it, yes, I'll make some time for it. But yes. I think it's a good idea, you know? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. You have idea to spread too. your artistic formation to the rest of the youngsters, you know? Yes, exactly. To capitalize, uh, 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 to a new demise, you know? Exactly. I totally agree with that. Uh, okay, my last question. Yes, so, sir. if you were an object or a tool for your heart, what would you be? Uh, what would I be? An artistic computer. An artistic computer? Yes. AI. A new AI. AI. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is you know that? What I mean? The perfect execution. You know what's that with all the knowledge and the skills that I got to put into AI? Have three of them? Ooh, who saturate the city? You know? <laughs> <laughs> AI it is. That's it, folks. That was the king, the king bee, a Bronx graffiti artist. So please remember, if you have an empty wall, a sad wall, Call the king, he'll do wonder on it. If you have a school, please contact him if you want the children to learn some art, some graffiti arts. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You know the drill. Comment, subscribe, like, share. But in the meantime, it's selfie time. Selfie time. You ready? Ready. All right, let's do this. Bzzz.